<laughs> Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I make videos about chocolate, cake decorating, or anything else that's sweet. Today I'm going to show you how to make a chocolate covered strawberry bouquet. This is something that you can make for someone for Valentine's Day or honestly a birthday, Mother's Day, or any occasion. Like say if someone reached a thousand subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> and before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you haven't done so already. Now, here's what you'll need to make your chocolate covered strawberry bouquet. A box or a vase. You can use square or round, but you do not need the lid. Some craft foam, some skewers, lots of strawberries, of course, some chocolate, whatever kinds and colors you prefer, and you'll want some decorations. You may want to use some metallic powders or pearl dust, some sprinkles, gold or silver leafing, or maybe some pearls, and some other things you might want to add just to help fill the gaps between the strawberries are some flowers, like some roses, some other berries, and possibly some tissue paper. A nice ribbon if you'd like to tie a bow around your box. And as always, I will link all of the supplies I'm using in the description box below. Now the first thing you'll do is rinse your strawberries. And place them on a sheet tray over top of a paper towel. Then give them a little dab with another paper towel and leave them there to dry. Next, you'll take your box and your craft foam and you're going to cut some of the foam down to size to put inside your box to hold the strawberries. Next, you're going to skewer your berries, and while you do so, you can pick out the prettiest ones and make sure they're dry, and then you can use your extra piece of foam to hold them up. So once you've skewered all your strawberries and made sure they're all dry, it's time to melt down your chocolate and get decorating, which is the fun part. But before you do that, you'll want to decide what your theme is because you might not want to use all the colors or it might get a little bit busy. Um, because my box is pink and red I think and white, I think I'm going to stick with white chocolate and some pink and red chocolate. I'm going to do a few red and pink and white marbled strawberries, some with silver leaf, some with silver paint. So to get started on doing that, I'm going to melt down pink, red, and white chocolate, and then I'll show you how I decorate them. And remember, whenever you're melting chocolate, you wanna do it really slowly so that you don't burn it, 30 seconds at a time and stop when there's still small chunks and then just stir it until it's completely smooth. So I'm starting with white chocolate and my plan is to dip all of the smallest strawberries in white. And I'm going to do some with silver leaf and some with white pearl dust. So you're just going to give it a good dip all the way down to the green stem and tap, 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 <laughs> And get all the extra chocolate off. Once it stops dripping, you can put it back in your foam to dry.
All right, so now I've got some light pink and I'm going to start dipping some of the medium and larger strawberries. And then I'm going to sprinkle on some little red sprinkles and also make a little flower pattern on the top with some large silver sprinkles. Now I've got out a little bit of red chocolate and I'm just going to dip a couple. My plan for these is to do a silver paint drip and also a little bit of chocolate piping. All right, now it's time to marble some berries. So I'm going to take some red and just put it in the pink like this. And take some white and do the same. I'll dip the berry and as I pull out, I'm going to spin it. And now that all my strawberries are dipped and covered in chocolate, I've just got some pink, white, and red chocolate in piping bags, and I'm going to pipe on some decorations on some of the strawberries. Now for some of my smaller white ones, I'm going to paint them with white pearl dust just to give them a little glimmer. So I'm going to take some lemon extract and mix that with some white pearl dust just to a nice paint consistency and just brush it on. And then on a few of my other white strawberries, I'm going to add some silver leaf. To do that, I'm going to get some more plain lemon extract and just tap that on with a paintbrush and then use some tweezers to place the silver leaf. And then for two of my red strawberries, I'm going to do a silver paint drip. So to mix that, I just take some silver metallic powder and mix it with the lemon extract. The last thing I'm going to do is take a few of the marbled strawberries and add some of that silver paint along some of the lines with a really, really tiny brush. Now 
now that your strawberries are all decorated, it's time to put together your bouquet. So grab some tissue paper and maybe some dowel cutters in case you need to adjust the size of your dowels. And I'm just going to start in the center with my favorite strawberry. And then I'm going to place one in each of the four corners and then fill it in from there in a dome shape. All right, now once you've got the basic shape of your bouquet and everything's filled in to how you like it, we're just going to add a little bit of tissue paper around the edge to cover up the foam and make it look finished. So to do that, I'm going to cut out a nice little piece and I'm going to fold it into fourths and I'll take a long dowel and I'm going to poke a hole. I'll start in the corners to see how it looks. Poke a hole to get it started. And then just wrap it around the dowel and stick it in like that. Then it's kind of stuck in there. You can adjust it to how you like it. And I'll just go around the whole box adding it like that. Here you go, our finished bouquet. If I could give each of you one, I would. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking it down below. Also, leave a comment of a strawberry emoji. If you haven't subscribed already, today's the day. And if you'd like to learn something else that's sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video today. I will see you soon. Bye.